Hello everyone, this is John Jenkins here, um, and I wanted to bring another video. Uh, the, the subject of this video is the good thing about welfare. And the good thing about, uh, is, is for those of you who know, I was raised on welfare my entire life. So, the good thing about welfare, I, I've said so many negative things about welfare in the past, I thought I should balance it out with something good. And um, the good thing about welfare is that it teaches you how to be an entrepreneur. What am I saying? Well, I, I, I'll go into detail about this later on. But, you know, people on welfare have said, when you're an entrepreneur, right, you offer a good or a service and they give you money for what you offer. People value what you offer and they give you money for it. But people on welfare have convinced society to give them money and they don't even... They don't provide anything that's visible, you know, except for the fact that, of course, they, as soon as they get the money, they're going to spend it. And that helps the economy. And, you know, it's, it, 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 it helps the economy with spending, but it's, it doesn't lead to uh, inflation because of overspending. You know, if you read, I read, I read, uh, I read the Wealth of Nations, and somewhere in there, in the Wealth of Nations, Adam Smith is like countries where countries where not everybody works tend to be wealthier than countries that where everybody works. You know, when when I was a kid, my mother told me about the Soviet Union, how they had 100% employment. It was a zero percent unemployment rate. Every adult had a job. Uh, every adult had a job, 100% employment rate, but they were starving to death. Why was that? Well, you know, uh, it, the Soviet Union had many problems, but, you know, from what I understand, when, when you have, uh, when you have 100 the reason why they don't go for 100% employment in the United States is because they learned from the Soviet Union that if you have 100% employment, you have inflation and deflation at the same time. You have inflation because, you know, you, uh, you have inflation and deflation at the same time because there's more money in circulation if, if, if you have a million more people making like 40000 a year each, all that extra money in circulation is going to, uh, I was going to calculate that on my calculator, but I, I, I don't see it around here. So, uh, but if you have a million more people in your country uh, suddenly making 40000 a year, that's going to add a whole lot of money to the money supply. And you're going to have to print up all that money and all that money is going to get spent. And uh, so there's going to be more money in circulation, so the value of that money is going to go down. And at the same time, it's going to be deflation because with 100% 100 uh, of the population working, no matter how much money you print, it's not going to be enough. So you have too much money which causes inflation, and then you have not enough money which causes deflation. But, you know, that's, that's besides the point of what I wanted to say. So, uh, basically, uh, people on welfare have figured out how, you know, we have figured out how to convince society to sustain our livelihoods for, in exchange for nothing, essentially. I mean, it... Basically, we, we figured out how we, we, we give something to society that is so valuable 
that, you know, they're willing to let us, they're willing to make it so that we never have to work again. And, you know, even it's, it's to the point where even under a Trump presidency, you would have assumed that as soon as Trump got in office, all welfare will be abolished because he's this big bad man. You know, I can say that because I voted for him, but he, because he's a big bad man and he, he, he's going to take away all of our, our goodies. But even under Trump, they can't get rid of it. Why? Because welfare recipients provide a very viable service to society or service or product. I don't know what it is. And, you know, so we, we have figured out how to do that. And, um, uh, it's like, it's, it's like, you know, it's like being a native American where they have, uh, uh, reservations and, you know, they have their reservations. We have our reservations. They have uh, tax, tax exempt. We're tax exempt, you know. Um, um, uh, so, you know, we, that, my first point was that being on welfare teaches you how to be an entrepreneur because you you don't know it, but you're providing a service to society. You know, you're providing a service to society. And uh, yeah. And there was another point that I wanted to make. Uh, let me see if I can remember. Uh, I'll probably make this in another video. Uh, I'll probably have a second point because there was another point I wanted to make by about why welfare is uh, welfare is a good thing, and I totally forgot what it was. But I, when I remember it, I'll write it down and I'll make another video. So that's it for now. Um, and uh, Kickstarter is still going on. GoFundMe is still going on, and I'm about to get into a whole bunch of other stuff. Uh, yeah, so thank you for listening, and have a nice day. Bye.